guys, welcome back to my drawing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do this drawing. And this one is different as I combine graphite powder, charcoal stick, and my usual 8-piece tattler pencil. But before we do this, we simply need to understand how each medium performs. So let's test it out first. So this is the material I'm using. This one is new, I use willow charcoal stick. This is quite thick, measuring at 7 to 9 millimeters in diameter. I don't think brand matters, it's simply just burnt sticks. But mine is from Della Roni. And this is my DIY graphite powder from my 8 piece title pencil. Paper is from Canson 1557. If you want to test your materials, it's important to use the same paper as your final drawing. Because different paper has different texture so they could have a considerable impact on your final product. Right, so our first medium is charcoal stick. The first thing I noticed is that this willow stick is so soft. My paper literally feels like sandpaper. When I don't push too hard, barely touching the paper, I get this rough texture, random tiny dots everywhere. And when I push the stick hard, I get this random blotchy texture, which kind of looks cool to be honest. So our second medium would be the graphite powder. I like to apply the powder using various tools, cotton, brush, and this time I use my makeup sponge. The texture is soft, but they could be unpredictable sometimes. And as you can see here, they leave a considerable amount of dust. So this might not be good for people who are allergic to dust. Next we have 8PS Tattle Pencil. Pencil is super convenient for drawing because you can use it from different angles. When I use low angle like this, I get this rough texture almost similar to my charcoal stick. When I use high angle like this, I get this texture useful for cross hatching for example. And I usually do the shading using high angle rather than low angle because this way it has less texture. When I press hard, I get this smooth dot value, which is not achievable using the other mediums. But as you can see here, you really need a lot of layers to achieve the darkest dark. This is so that you don't damage the paper, and it's easier to create smooth gradients in layers like this. And also, obviously I can control the value better with a pencil. When it comes to darkness, the 8B pencil is superior. Then in the second place we have our willow charcoal, and the last one is the graphite powder. So now let's talk about blending. Willow charcoal is easy to smudge, and this is not a bad thing. And I'll show you how I use this as an advantage in the drawing demo later in the video. The graphite powder is not as smudgeable as the charcoal. I simply use the dust to extend the value. It looks smooth. And again, this is not about good or bad things, but rather an option for us. And as you can guess, the pencil is hard to smudge. When using a blender, such as a brush, the charcoal stick offers somewhat smooth value, though you can still see the dotted texture there. Whilst the graphite powder looks smoother, plus it's not too dark, it's perfect for rendering low faint value. Graphite pencil, well, I think it's not gonna work well with this kind of brush, guys. Using small brush, so this is the result of charcoal stick, easy to smudge, and this is the graphite powder, for some reason I don't like it. I think it looks worse and not smooth, and this small brush works so well with my 8P pencil, as it enhances the darker stock and makes it look darker somehow. Okay, so permanence, as expected, willow charcoal is easy to erase. This is using kneaded eraser, guys, and the graphite powder is surprisingly easy to erase too, while the pencil version is hard to erase. Now using a rubber eraser, willow stick is even easier to erase. Graphite powder is also easy. And the pencil, you can erase it, though it's somewhat hard to do. Okay, so this time testing my Tomomono Zero, it's basically just a regular rubber eraser in the form of pencil, so technically it should perform the same.
Now let's talk about details. For Velostake, you could draw using its sharp edges. It works okay, though it's not easy if you want to draw super accurately. In the graphite powder, well, sorry to say, there is no way we could draw details using a sponge. And of course, it's more natural to use a pencil to draw details. The sharper it is, the easier and the more accurate. And you can see that the line is thinner than the charcoal stick. And it's even thinner when I use my 4B mechanical pencil. So after I did some tests, now I have better understanding and better expectations as to how each material will perform. Now I can create some kind of strategy on how to better approach this drawing. So my current strategy is to divide the drawing into three stages. The initial sketch stage, the development stage, and the finishing stage. There is actually no clear indication of where each stage really starts or ends. They just transition from one to another. It's just a way for me to make it easier to explain things. So in the beginning stage, I mostly use my graphite powder because I don't want it to be too dark and also it's easy to erase. At this stage, all I care about is the placement of my subject, which is in the center. And I also plan the background, how big it is around the subject's head. So now, after I establish my initial mid value, I can sketch my highlights roughly. You can tell how useful this sketch is because immediately I can tell where the cheek is, the forehead, the hair. Though this is just a really rough sketch, this sketch will be my blueprint for the rest of the drawing session. So I already have my mid value, my highlight. Now I need my dark value to complete the basic drawing. For this, I use my willow stick because again, I don't want it to be too dark, but still darker than my graphite powder. Also, I like the flexibility of the charcoal, as you could just smear it if you make any mistake. I can also make it softer using my big brush like this. And also, I really like using my finger if I feel like I need more accuracy. I can also do some kind of layering, so after I make it soft, I add more charcoal to create even darker value and then make it soft again with my finger, back and forth until I have a good basic sketch. This is so much fun to do. It feels like I'm painting rather than drawing, and you can tell that easily this will be my new favorite medium from now on. Of course, not everything is perfect, even I make a lot of mistakes here and there. People usually ask me how I could draw without any mistakes. I'm sorry to say, but as you can see, my drawing isn't perfect. It's bound to happen and the only thing you need to do is just keep refining it and don't give up. And the best thing about graphite powder and charcoal stick is that they make it easier to fix mistakes. Now my basic sketch is completed. I have mapped out the mid value, light and shadow. And it's time for me to begin rendering each facial feature. You'll see me start using pencil because I want the drawing to be more permanent and smudge resistant. Also, it's easier for me to create small details using pencil anyway. Where I start drawing is not really important because I already have my blueprint mapped out. Of course, I could start from the eye to make things easier, but just to prove a point, I'm gonna start from the lips. And one thing to remember is not to go too dark too soon, because as I said before, I'm using pencil and pencil is more permanent, it's not easy to erase mistakes, so better to go slowly, layers upon layers, until you get the desired value. After the lip is done, now moving on to the eyes. So I'm using even darker pencil now. This is my 8B Statler pencil. I want the eye to be as high contrast as possible. So here, the dark will be the darkest, and the lightest value will be for the catch light. This will make the eyes pop. And I like to do this because I think the eyes the most important part of every portrait drawing, as it is the first thing you'll see when looking at portraiture. If you have trouble drawing eyes or specific area of the drawing, there will be another tutorial video on how to draw every part of the face. Eyes, nose, lips, 
hair and in that video, I will focus just on a specific part. So we will learn that in the upcoming video. So don't forget to subscribe to my drawing channel so you don't miss my tutorials. So all of the facial features are completed. Please note that this is not the final look. I'll make further adjustments here and there to make it perfect, but that's for the final stage. Right now, my goal is to render the hair and the background. This is important guys, because how values work is by comparing two adjacent values. You see something dark because there is a lighter value next to it. And you see something bright because there is a darker value next to it. So by knowing this, the most logical next step is to render everything that surrounds our subject, including the background. If the background is dark, then our subject will look bright. But if the background is too dark, then our subject will look pale. So how dark and how light the background has to be, that is up to you. And only you can do the adjustment. And my tip is to practice drawing a lot. And over time with enough practice, you will develop a good artist sense and be able to judge better. The technique is exactly the same. Everything is the same. Charcoal stick for sketching the background shape. I'll be using my finger a lot to smudge the charcoal. For p pencil and graphite powder for the mid value. An ATP pencil if I want to create super dark value like the hair. Don't worry if you make mistakes. Be patient and don't give up. The video is clearly not over yet guys. The drawing is long from finished. It took me like 10 or 11 hours. But that's all I want to say. So let me know in the comment guys, do you prefer drawing with charcoal stick or graphite and why? This is how I draw this portrait and combine graphite powder, pencil and charcoal in one drawing. I think my drawing today looks somewhat bolder and has a kinda stronger feeling. I like this more, but I think that's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment and as usual this is my music composition. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Your support means so much to me. Sometimes when I make a video and nobody cares about it, it saddens my heart, guys. <laughs> but enough ranting and thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.